I can answer the question you always ask off of a Cowboys weekend. Mm -hmm. I can answer it um, myself. Okay. How about them Cowboys? (laughs) I can answer that question. I can answer the question. I didn't. Uh, They're very, very, very good. Good at the football. They are terrific. They look great. And when you have a struggling quarterback, and you have a struggling quarterback standing behind center in his own backfield against this defense, look out. And I got to hand it to him. You got to give it up to Mike McCarthy right here. You must give it up. To Mike McCarthy. Uh, do we have to? You have to do uh, it. I believe so. You I have to do so. it because if you're the quarterback of the New York Jets and you're Zach Wilson and you're not Aaron Rodgers and you know everything that's going on and you know you're going against this defense and you're Mike McCarthy knowing that Zach Wilson knows all this and you win the coin toss, you put your defense out on the field and you maul this kid and you get the possession of the football to start the second half. Hey, uh, it makes sense to me. Instead, he's like, no, we're going to take the ball. And he puts his offense out there first. And did they reward him or what? 12-play drive right down the field. Touchdown. Against this Jets defense that the Jets knew they had to rely on to get through this day. Forget about unscathed. Just, you know, slightly half-scathed. I would have signed for, uh, you know, a quarter scathed. Quarter scathed. You know, I, I, honestly. <laughs> Semi-scathed? Slightly, Semi-scathed. Slightly By scathed. the way, uh, 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 not, not, not a very good uh, 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 Mac Davis movie. Semi-scathed. I don't even know if he was in that. Uh, look. <laughs> the sequel was awesome. Bottom huh? line <laughs> is McCarthy puts his offense out there. Yeah. And he's like, all right, now I'll have Dak do his thing after – the big shutout win over the Giants was largely fueled at the very beginning by the defense and special teams. We'll have Dak do his thing and put pressure on Zach that way. Paid off. And Dak looked good. C.D. Lamb looked good. You know what so this good. offense yeah. looked like? You know what this offense looked like? It, it was relentless. It was relentless. Plays over. McCarthy's already calling the next play and. The ball was coming out. It was relentless. The Jets didn't have time to breathe on defense. Deuce Vaughn got unwrapped yesterday. Loved it. Rico Dowdle is running the ball. And Tony Pollard put the the bell cow on him. Pollard is nice. The offense looked really good. And CeeDee Lamb is really special. Top tier. And Dak Prescott is really good. But the MVP of this team, we all know. And I believe he is in the running for most valuable player of the National Football League. Unfortunately for Micah Parsons, he's out of New York City teams to play against. (laughs) Well, he's got one more against the Giants. Mm -hmm. But he's out out of the opportunity to play them back to back. This guy, Micah Parsons... He has 100%, in my mind, sealed the pole position for Defensive Player of the Year just two weeks in. The play he made on Dalvin Cook basically called ball game because the Jets did have a sign of life when the Wilsons connected and Garrett showed just how special he is as the reigning Offensive Rookie of the Year in year two. Now having back-to-back touchdowns from Zach Wilson, how how good must you be as a wide receiver to have back-to-back weeks of touchdown grabs from Zach Wilson? Pretty good. <laughs> and 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 wow. I say that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no, just I'm, I'm speaking from the gut here. Yeah, I'm speaking said, from the you gut. Said it. You said okay. You said and it. Now, now last week's Garrett Wilson touchdown was Garrett. This one Zach delivered it on time to a guy who is who, who is it was yeah, beautiful. It was throw. a thing of beauty yeah. and he Zach even got a field goal out of the final drive of the first half to make it a one score game and the Dallas defense came out with the Jets getting the ball with that momentum three and out. Three and out including a penalty by the Jets pre-snap. <laughs> I wonder who was Maybe in somebody's mind, (laughs) pre-snap. Who could it be? (laughs) The Cowboys then, off of that, got some points on the board 
to make it 21-10 because the Jets' defense was bending but rarely breaking yesterday. And it's 21-10. Dalvin Cook comes around the end, and Micah Parsons rips the ball out and runs it in for a touchdown. And if it wasn't for the unfortunate, although fortunate for the Jets, instance of Parsons being inadvertently touched, quite frankly, by... I think it was Lakin Tomlinson, the, yeah, the like, Jets uh, like alignment, there. <laughs> because Parsons, I think, contacted him as he was recovering yeah. the ball that yeah. he ripped He's out. Trying to stand up. Uh, it would have been a touchdown, but either way, it was a short field that the Jets defense only gave up three and made it a two touchdown game. And at that point in time, you know, I, I, I would have thought two touchdowns more out of Zach Wilson. Instead, what we got out of Zach for the rest of the game was a punt and three interceptions. And this is what Micah Parsons leads on the field for this team. He is the 100% defensive player of the year front runner just two weeks in. And I understand it's a marathon. I understand what I'm saying. But it's going to take a lot of effort for somebody in this league to perform as consistently, frighteningly consistent as this guy. Two games in. Holy cow. Uh, and an MVP, you got to talk about. He is the most valuable player on this team. TJ, I think you'd say uh, the one guy you don't want to lose the most. And that I know is a metric we always talk about, like what is the most valuable player? Remove the guy from your team. Can you still play as well as you do? 11. That's it. That's it. Look at him. Look it at, speaks for itself. The eye test speaks for itself. What a coup. What a coup. And next up for him is a visit to Josh Dobbs Ooh. in Arizona. Oh, I mean. Look out below. Mac Jones comes to the Jones Mahal in week four. And then this is the one. Let's circle it now. At San Francisco week five. That's it. Because San Francisco came here to Los Angeles and took on yet another plucky Rams effort. And needed all of the four quarters to beat him back and beat the Rams to go 0-2, I mean, to go 2-0, and and now they're headed home. Their first two wins are on the road. A division game as well. Just Perfect. like the Cowboys. They've each won one on the road mm-hmm. in division and then one outside of conference. Parsons, the highest defensive player on the MVP odds list, guys, 65-1. to I think he proved it. He Same proved odds it. as Jordan Love, in case you're wondering. That was something else, man. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.